Uh, Anaki is the CEO and co-founder of Cover Wallet, tech a tech company reinventing insurance for businesses. Before he was a co-founder, before that he was co-founder and CEO at Contactive, acquired by Foos, and Pixable, acquired by uh, Singtel for $30 million. Uh, he's worked at uh, McKinsey, Microsoft Corporate Strategy, HP, Intel, and NEC Labs, originally from Spain. Question for Anaki Berenger of uh, Cover Wallet. Uh, you, recently, you recently opened up your platform by offering API for commercial insurance. Uh, can you tell us uh, uh, what that actually, uh, what that, doing that enabled you to do and uh, how this concept is going to evolve in the future? Well, first of all, uh, thanks, Nick, for inviting me to, to the panel, and it is glad to, to share the panel with some friends like Mike and even friends and competitors like Matt. <laughs> but uh, let, let me add a little bit of context uh, about Cover Wallet, what we do, and how we started the company. Um, Cover Wallet uh, launched uh, two years ago. We are a tech company reinventing insurance for small businesses, and we are doing that combining data, design, and technology. My background is not in insurance, it's in engineering. I have a PhD in engineering. Uh, half of the company today is still working in engineering, and it's not only engineering, it's like product-related activities like a, a user experience design or data science. And, 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 and the, the way we, we wanted to build this platform is very modular, so then we could uh, make modifications as we were learning what was working and what was not very quickly, right? And when you build something very modular, um, then it allows you to change only like certain parts of the platform without um, interrupting how the other ones can work. And, and in the same way that everyone now is building uh, on top of Amazon Web Services, or we are building on, Am on top of Amazon Web Services for payments we are using Stripe, for locations we are using Google Maps. So we were thinking, if we have built everything very modular, why not to expose some of our functionality to other partners. So in the same way that we have been able to leverage what other people have built and only build innovation on top of those services, why not to export what we have done in insurance, that is quoting, binding, billing, issuing certificates, document management, and, and renewals. So why not to expose all that functionality to other people so they can be the ones innovating on top of us, so they include insurance services in their offering. So we launched our API a couple of months ago. So there are agency management systems, uh, commercial real estate brokers, payroll providers that they are building on top of our APIs. So they are incorporating some insurance services on their offering. Some of that is indications for quoting. Some of them could be recurrent payments on top of uh, our platform. And, and that resembles a lot um, how kids uh, think about Legos. I'm, like I have a three-year-old daughter. She has one of those Lego that are magnets. And you'd be surprised uh, how creative she becomes uh, once she starts playing with different modules and putting things together. So that is the way you want to build a technology platform. So everything that you have a new idea, you can take different pieces of your platform and only innovate what, in what is uh, com completely unique. And, and that allows you to uh, adapt very quickly to what you learn. And uh, adapting fast and moving fast is what makes uh, companies successful in the 21st century, right? And, and this is important for a lot of uh, incumbents uh, in the conference here, right? That is, in the 21st century, is not the big fish eat, eating the small fish, it's the fast one eating the, the slow one. You're, you're, you're offering APIs to a variety of other organizations. And is there, um, first, the, just having the microservices slash API architecture lets you do that. Second, uh, where, where's the revenue? I'm not asking for dollars, I'm not asking for P&L, but uh, are you getting revenue just because people are, are, are bringing you uh, submissions where you can sell insurance? Or are you charging for the APIs? Or how, how, does, how does that work from a business model point of view? First, like, very quickly, how we think about our platform before we expose that to third parties. So the quoting, the binding, the, uh, the application, the, the billing and recurrent payments, the renewals and the certificates and document management, each of them, they connect to each other via API. So we, you can think of, of each of those like servicing the other modules on the platform and the way they are connecting our API. So we said, okay, so the way uh, one module is exposed to other modules on our platform, we can expose that module to other modules on other platforms from other partners. So the question is, um, how do we make money? So first of all is, if it doesn't cost you any, any money, so I mean, potentially you, sh you should 
charge zero, right? Like in the same way that we are building on top of Google Maps, and when you start uh, typing your address in our application, it appears uh, like the map of the address that you have entered in, a, in, your appli in, in our application, but Google gets a little bit of credit there, right? This image or maps provided by Google. So that's what we are trying to do, right? If you are a commercial real estate company exposing your office space to customers, and those customers wanted to see not only the price of that office, but if they had to pay for insurance, uh, an approximate cost of that, it says indication or estimation provided by Cover Wallet, right? So it's additional services that uh, those customers can offer, and it, at that point, we don't make any money. If they want to refer businesses to us, then we may pay them a referral fee. Okay, so it's sort of a, a, a pro promotional uh, channel strategy to bring more business to your front door, to, to your yeah. website. And, and being a center centerpiece of the industry, right? So you want to become a platform that other people build on top of you, so then you are very embedded in the overall ecosystem, right? In the same way that uh, now, like, Google and Facebook are, like, embedded in all authentication sites. Like, when you go to many websites, you authenticate with Facebook, you authenticate with your Gmail account on another website, right? So. Facebook is not charging that website, or Google is not charging that website, but is getting exposure, and they are becoming part of the ecosystem. Okay, thank you.